Uh, good afternoon. Today I'm going to give a short tutorial on how to convert an STL file, which was produced in this case by SolidWorks, into a number of Gerber layers that can be then sent to a board manufacturer so you can actually build it. What you're looking at right now is a flex circuit board. These are designed to be bent and conform around various complicated 3D shapes. A board like this has multiple layers. You can see the multiple layers here, and it's difficult to know exactly what's on each layer once it's an STL. So whoever produces the STL file should clearly be able to define what height we want to cut through in order to get our various process layers. You can see from the 3D diagram that the extrusion is in the Y direction. So when we go to slice this, we'll be slicing at different levels of Y to get our circuit boards. So we're going to use Artworks STL the Gerber program. We're going to start by selecting the STL file. And you can see it's a 2.2 megabyte file. And then we're going to run a configuration. And you can see that my STL units were millimeters. And the Gerber units will also be millimeters. We'll use a format of 3.4. We set our output to embedding level. That'll determine how our holes end up. And I think that's all we need to do here. Now the next step is to define slices. And this is where you have to be correct. First of all, you have to tell it which direction is the extrusion direction. In this case, it's Y. And now you have to put in the right heights. So I'm going to make a slice at 0605. Make another slice at 0615. And another slice at 0625. And 0635. And 0655. So those are my slices. Each one of those will produce a Gerber file and hopefully we'll get what we're looking for. So when I'm done there, I just click Translate and it finishes very quickly. Now let's look at our output. All right, I've opened our output in the Gerber viewer that comes with this tool so you can verify your output. You'll see the first slice gives me this kind of a shape. It's some kind of a opening or cover on the flex board. Now let's open the next output. We have another, what I consider opening, however it looks a little different than the first one. On this level, you actually see the circuit traces. So this is what's uh, all the electrical conductivity. We have the other side of the board. Now we're on the other side of the conductors. And here we have the last layer. So we had a total of five layers. One of them was conductors. The others were some kind of dielectric cover layers or protective layers. So that's basically it. That's what you can send to the, the board shop and then they will take care of uh, making the board for you.